Hi, this is Nick Basley here at the First Glance Film Festival in Hollywood, California. I am here tonight with... Troy Romeo. And uh, what, what brings you here to the First Glance Film Festival? Uh, I was brought in with my film 2095 to screen uh, opening night here at the festival. Tell us a little bit about your movie 2095. Uh, it's basically a love story with a sci-fi twist. Uh, it's about this guy who's in love with this girl who works with this office, and uh, he asks her out, fails miserably, and she contacts him that night. They develop a relationship over the internet, and it turns out at the end of the film that, in fact, he's not having this relationship with this girl that he met, uh, that he works with. Uh, it turns out there was some computer fell in love with him, and that uh, it's just a complete sham. And he turns out not only that he's not having a relationship with this girl, but that he is also synthetic, just as much as this girl was on the internet. And is it true what they say, that love can be very complex? Don't let emotions sway you, Mr. Burroughs. The company would terminate us if they found out there was an inner office relationship taking place. What do you want me to do? Grumble wants to fire me. They tapped into my computer, downloaded our eat calls. I'll talk to Grumble and tell him it was my fault. Thanks, but... There you are. I don't see how much good that would do now. Problem, Mr. Ferris? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just not being able to see you and it wasn't last enough. Night. I know. I feel the same way. Delays are costly. Each relationship was geared so you could conceptualize and formulate different opinions and ideas, then develop feelings. In the end, we all taught you how to love. Wesley. I found a way we can be together. So you, you're, you're here at the, the First Glance Film Festival here, and uh, this is not your first festival, but what, what drew you to the First Glance Film Festival? Um, I think it was just looking back at the festivals, uh, you know, going through Without a Box and going through the shortlist and everything, and looking at the festivals that really cater to filmmakers, really take care of filmmakers and look out for them, as opposed to just getting stuff up on the screen for the sake of programming. Um, I think Bill and, and everybody involved with the festival really, really uh, looks after the filmmaker and really is concerned about their best interests. What's the uh, most important lesson so far you've learned as a filmmaker? Don't use your own money. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's always mistakes. I mean, you, you learn all the time, and it's, you know, this is, this is my first big film, getting it out to this many festivals, um, and you just learn what to do and what not to do by running into other filmmakers, uh, going through the process. Um, you know, you, it, it, it's a learning curve. And hopefully next time out, you know, you won't make the same mistakes and uh, you just be able to grow from there. Now, one of the uh, film festivals that were out there that I actually heard from your film because it was playing there was the Staten Island Film Festival from last year. How does the, uh, that festival in, in, in kind of on the East Coast differ from a film festival here on the West Coast uh, in terms of the audience? Well, the audience makeups are different wherever you go uh, across the country. Um, this happened to be playing, I think, well, it remains to be seen how this is going to turn out, but I'm sure this is going to turn out great tonight, because we are in L.A. Um, the festival in New York was um, a little bit more quiet. Uh, I think it skewed a little older. And, um, but still, I mean, the passion for filmmaking is still there regardless of where you go. I mean, I, I've been to different, I've been to Memphis, I've been to all these different places, and, you know, it never ceases to amaze me how passionate the people are behind their films and the, uh, the people, the festival directors, and everybody involved in the festival is really, really uh, pushing for your film to really get seen and be recognized. So, I mean, you know, to all the people out there who push these films and who really believe in the filmmaking process and everything, I mean, they, they deserve, you know, kudos. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing thing. 
you speak about a passion for film. What made you want to become a filmmaker? What made me want to become a filmmaker? Um, I think it just boils down to basically not knowing how to do anything else, not feeling passionate about anything else as much as I feel about filmmaking. I mean, I love movies. Um, you know, given the choice to do several different things, I'll pay my five bucks or slip in a DVD and sit there and watch a film and, and you know, dream away for two hours. I mean, I just, I love the process. I love the fact that you can get a hundred people on a sound stage working for something that's going to last a second on screen. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just an amazing business. It's not even a passion, it's a necessity. Um, it's just a question of you're willing to sacrifice okay, so. almost everything to be a filmmaker and to get your stuff up there, up on the screen, and get recognized. I, mean, I don't understand the logic behind it myself sometimes, but it, it just definitely is something that you have to do. And you don't want to have regrets in life. And if you don't pursue it, and you don't push it to its fullest, you will have regrets, and I don't want that in my life. I want to, I want to go out knowing that I gave everything I could to get what I did, you know, out of it, whatever that might be. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to God that I'm, you know, I'm going to go much further than I am right now, but uh, to not, to not even go for it or to just settle. I can't do that. I can't do it. All right, well, good luck on your screening tonight, Thank and uh, you. we certainly will, uh, I'm sure the audience is going to love 2095, and uh, this is again Nick Baisley here at the First Glance Film Festival with Troy Romeo.